HP Studios, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the final stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the Tour Championship is about to start. Delighted to have your company for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer begins the day, what are you thinking about their chances? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts, if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. And here we are with the third shot. Pretty good shot there. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? This next putt is for bogey. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Currently 14 under for the event. Yeah, but if you look how they played the hole, it was disastrous. Lucky to walk away with a bogey. Going with the five iron here. As soon as that left the club, you knew it was going left. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. If it's up, it could be in. Yeah, he'll take that. And this effort from Patrick Cantlay just a short while ago. Lining up for his third now. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the third hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Yeah, that one will play. John, have you got a read on this one? I'd say it's about 29 feet from where I'm standing. It was on a good line. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Solid par putt, that. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Second shot here on the fourth. Looks to be going with the five iron. Just a bit outside into the rough. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Well, story of the day for this player is just missed too many greens. You can't afford to do that. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy to be back on the green. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. Well hold. Just one off the lead after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Yeah, that should find the cut stuff. From about 100 yards. Just a stroke behind the leader. Going with the 9 iron, I think. That's uh, just a tad offline, that one. Headed towards the left. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. 
And that's been the story of the day, isn't it, Luke? It has missed a lot of greens, and you can't afford to do that on this golf course. Let's return to live play now. Getting ready to play their third. Only one shot off the pace. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And that should secure the par. Well done. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. You don't need to be long off the tee, Luke. It's only 525 yards, but the second shot plays straight back up the hill. So a little length helps. This one might roll into the rough. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Well, Luke, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Just a couple back from our leader. Playing their fourth shot. Only two shots off the pace. Oh, so close. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And after this hole, that's how it looks. John, what's going on out there? Well, guys, we're down here on the eighth. This is Gary Woodland's next shot. And this putt is for birdie. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. That's heading for the fairway. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Choosing the nine iron here. Well, a little off the target with that one. A bit short with that effort. That's on the green, but still a fair way from the hole. And he needs this to save par. Tracking. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. He's currently sitting in third. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. Well, they're obviously playing to a game plan here because I remember they were hit in from this similar spot yesterday. Yes, and let's hope it's not a similar result as yesterday. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. John, you're down there. What's happening? Down here on the 13th hole, taking a look at Cameron Champ. A chance now from the bunker for an up and down. Getting ready to play their third. Two strokes off the lead. Yeah, that's well judged. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Sitting at minus 14 now for the event. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Opting for the three wood. Well, I hope you pack the bucket and spade because you're heading to the sand. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. Oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Hard putt coming up here. Oh. 
Ooh, right by the hole. This one's for Bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. A man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? We're down on the 16th, guys. This is Kevin Kisner's next shot. Second shot here at the 10th. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Well, oh, good shot that. Right inside the range. Hasn't managed to booty this hole this week. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. And that will drop in for birdie. Currently has a share of second place. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Going with the five wood. As Tiger would say, wait. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, good to hear from you guys. This is uh, hole number 16. Checking out Cameron Champ. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. This one looks to be bunker bound, Rich. Not good. Lining up from the sand now. Yes, difficult light, made a par here yesterday, a little bit more difficult today. Oh no, is that heading towards the bunker? This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, well, you got a chance to improve on the next one. They're in the bunker, but a chance to get up and down? Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. And in it goes. And Patrick Cantlay, currently our leader. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. Uh, that's a little untidy. This next shot coming up from the sand. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. That's tidy. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Ooh. Three feet to go here to the hole. And down it goes. Patrick Cantlay is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Second shot here on the 14th. Oh, 
Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. He's got about 27 feet to the cup from here. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And that putt will drop. Well done. Patrick Cantlay currently in the lead. Par threes are always fun. See if he could knock it close. Opting for the five wood. A yeah, quality shot that. He hasn't managed to birdie this hole this tournament. Oh, just missed. It's just about three feet away. Okay, let's head to the next. Patrick Cantlay finds himself two shots clear at the top of the field. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. Playing up to an elevated green here. Opting for the hybrid, I think. That's it, it's okay. And here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. Nicely done. If he makes this, he'll save his par. Looking good. And down she goes. Trailing by five shots after that hole. This hole here is a par four. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Ah, it's heading to the rough for mine. Setting up in the first cut. It's going to be challenging to replicate the birdie from yesterday. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, guys, he's got about 21 feet to go here. Oh, I like the look of this. And he holds it. What a putt. Patrick Cantlay finds himself one shot clear at the top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Needs this one to kick right. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Might need to get the feel back on the putting green. Lining up the birdie putt here. That's half a chance of being hold, this one. And this one is for his par. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. And as this round winds down, he finishes in a tie for third. Luke, that was a blast. Looking forward to next time. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.